So that album won you the your second Grammy Award, the first one being with Peter Gabriel for, for the album Passion. Uh, man, most people will never get a Grammy nomination in, in their life. You've won three Grammys, two up to this point in the discography. What is it like winning a Grammy and, and what do those awards mean to you? Uh, you know, they're very special. Um, I, I find it kind of funny that I feel like I have uh, ones from opposite ends of the spectrum because the Tool ones are obviously for best metal performance and the Peter Gabriel one is best new age performance. So it's kind of... That might be one, the widest gap side, the, the, in Grammy exactly, win history. Exactly. But you know what? I, I, I What I love about that is I think it speaks to the breadth of my catalog and the idea that I'm not, uh, I don't work on one style of music, I work on many. And so having um, recognition from both of those things, I feel is important. So I'm very grateful for those things. Um, you know, we've been, uh, we, we were nominated for one with the um, Godsmack record as well. And, and just recently the Macedon record got a nomination as well. Um, uh, didn't win those ones, but it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's very cliche to say, but it is nice to be nominated. It's nice, it's nice to be recognized by your peers as, as being, um, uh, you know, as, as having value. I mean, I can tell you a story about uh, meeting up with Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. You know, I grew up, uh, I grew up as a kid listening to Led Zeppelin. And um, uh, after I did the first, the Anima record, um, the Page and Plant was about to do their first sort of record together. And um, they gave me a call. Their manager gave my manager a call and said, would you come for a meeting with these guys? Well, of course, I was shitting bricks because they were musical heroes as a kid. So I go in, I'm, I'm, I'm living in this little apartment in, in Bath and I go up to, um, I'm actually working on a project at another studio near London. So I go over and I'm sitting in Bill Kerbishley's office, who was their manager at the time. And I'm, I'm sitting on a sofa that's bigger than my apartment, you know, kind of perched on the end and they're listening to the to the out to the tool album we're playing it and robert's kind of walking around and you know listening to the music and saying well the vocals are a little quiet and because you know in tool it's like it's more about the whole bound anyway um jimmy's not saying very much but i'm 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 in awe of these guys of course because i've actually met robert years before that in bath he was down in bath beside the point i'm sitting in a professional situation with two of my musical idols and this is you know i'm i'm, well, I'm two of the myself, greatest of all time you know and and i'm just i'm, I'm terrified and, and thrilled at the same time so the meeting ends we decide maybe we'll do something together it doesn't go any really further than that um and i'm leaving the office and as i'm walking out doug uh, a guy called doug boyle who's a a guitar player happens to be in the same office and i've worked with him it's like hey doug how you know we stop we chat for a second then out of the the Kerbersley's office comes jimmy page kind of sort of jogging out he's like hey dave can you wait a second you know i'm like yeah because he was, wasn't saying very much but he he came up to me after he said look i didn't get much of a chance to speak uh during that meeting uh, I just wanted to tell you that I thought the music that you played me was really great. I thought, I thought it was really great work that you did. And man, that was like a month of me walking on clouds because a musical idol of mine had said to me, I think your work is really good. And that was as affirming to me as anything I've ever had in my career. So um, I, I don't, I can't remember exactly what your first, oh, uh, so so getting the Grammy nominations as well are, are a same sort of affirmation. I know it's sort of like it's self-congratulatory in the industry. Pat yourself on the back. Aren't we great? We all got Grammys. But it is a recognition amongst your peers that that your work is valuable. And and so I'm 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 am honored to get those things. Do you do you keep those Grammys somewhere special? The uh, I have uh, yeah the things up at the cottage uh, up at my cottage and, and it's I don't put them up in my regular thing to look at or or, or publicly display them that much. Um, it's just not in my nature to to be showy. I've got a few records up in my studio here, not too many, just because studios kind of should have those. But I mean, I've got Peter's the So album because it was my first platinum one. So yes, I'm very proud of that. I've got some silver chair stuff up and tool stuff, but again, not very many, just a, a few here and there, just 